Hello everybody, today we're talking about variables in Onshape. We've been 3D printing these IKEA Scatus hooks and we've wanted to make different variations, like maybe the hook comes out farther, maybe it comes down more. And I was gonna try and learn feature script, try and make my own custom like block of code to create one of these. And it turns out I can just do the same thing with variables in, in Onshape. So it's pretty cool. Let's go over how to do it and hopefully you learn something today. All right, so I have a half finished sketch here and we're gonna complete it with our variables. Now there's two places where we can store variables, in the actual part studio itself or in the document under a variable studio. We're gonna use the variable studio and I'll show you why in a little bit. Little plus icon down here, click on create variable studio. This gives us a little table here and make sure that insert into all part studios and assemblies is checked. That's what we're gonna be using it for. Now to get to our variable studio, little box on the right side, variable table, and you'll see variable studio and part studio one. So up here, we're gonna create four different variables. We're gonna create the base thickness, the base height, the hook radius, and the hook height. And you do that just by typing in the name field. And now there are a couple different variable types. You have length, angle, number, any. We're just using length today, so we're gonna leave that alone. And I already have these uh, values predetermined, but you can go ahead and use whatever you would like. Um, doesn't really matter, just whatever you're using for your variables. And description, if you ever um, need like help in the future, you forget what your variables are for, little text box for you, pretty nice. So once you're done naming all your variables and giving them values, go to your dimension. And to actually use it, use the pound sign or the hashtag, whatever you'd like to call it. And then just call it the name of your variable. So we're going to call out base thickness, hit enter. And once you enter, it'll take it in for you. If you don't hit enter, there can be problems where it doesn't exactly accept it and stuff. So just make sure you always hit enter. Let's click on that. Call it base thickness, enter. We're going to go from here and here and say pound sign base height enter this one is a radius of 0.25 but we're going to go ahead and override that by saying hashtag hook radius enter and then dimension from there to there and that is going to be hashtag hook height Wonderful, so everything is now constrained. And if we went through and changed a couple of these values, you would see that the hook now changes. And it is all fluid, it's all reactive to our variable studio up here. Now these work in more than just sketches, they also work in all of your other features like the extrude. So we're gonna go ahead and say base thickness, hit enter, it takes it. And now we have a wonderful little square here because they're the same dimension. And now to get our perfectly smooth little rounded hook, we're going to go ahead and also use it in the fillet. We're going to use that face, that face, the back, the not the edge, the face of the bottom and the face of the top. And we're going to do math this time with our variable. So hashtag base thickness divided by two, enter. And now we have a perfectly smooth IKEA Scatus hook. Now, why are we using the variable studio instead of the variables in the part studio one? Well, because if you create, let's say variable one, right? It's gonna go ahead and actually add it to your part studio in a little like feature tree insert. Problem is if you go into sketch and you try renaming this to variable one, it's not actually there yet because it's below the sketch in our feature tree. So that's one of the problems um, with doing it in the actual part studio. Now you can just bring it up to the top. And now if you say pound sign variable one, uh, it's there. So it's not a huge problem. It's not like a deal breaker, just a little bit not as easy to use. But if you have a whole bunch of different documents or you know parts to do inside of your document and it gets confusing, maybe this is a little bit easier. But there you go, that is variables in Onshape. I hope it helps you to make some incredible things. Maybe you're making a hook, maybe you're making something else that you need to just change on the fly. They're very easy to use and hopefully you learned something today. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Until next time, take care.